Hi, this is Debbie. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be doing a reading for October for our lovely water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Ooh, no, we're not going to take you a little bit too many. And what I generally do, okay, yes, you want to be seen, okay. Um, what I generally do is I shuffle and, you know, basically concentrate, meditate on this, you know, what I'm asking. And I generally pull out maybe three cards or have whatever cards come out. Um, but if more of the cards actually jump out, you know, I will read from that. So this is again for our water signs, for um, any one of our rising, ascending, or our moon. And let's see what we have here today. Now I don't read, I don't read reversed. Um, when they are reversed, it just means that you might want to think a little bit more on that card. So our first card is strength. It, um, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. I've got a feeling on this already that you're going to be put through, so you're going to be going through, I shouldn't say put through, going through some time that I see some, I see some anxiety and I'm thinking that you're going to really need to um, pull upon your inner strength because I think that there was some hurt or there's going to be, there was some hurt and you're going to have to necessarily deal with that hurt coming in October, okay? Seven of air, plans need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. Seven of earth. Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. And that can go back to that anxiety that I was talking about. Nine of air, expecting the worst. And I'm not laughing, I'm just saying that this all makes sense to me. And I hope that I can tell you what I'm seeing. Expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights. And two of water. A relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. So I think my my think that uh, as a as water signs, you've been going through some emotional upheavals. Um, I think that what you what you, what's gone on in the past is now going to come kind of to a head in October. And I believe, I feel that you're going to have to actually make your decisions now, which is not what you really wanted to do. Because, you know, you had your plan, you had your plan and your plan was to do, you know, was to go forward. This is what I wanted to do. Now, because of this emotion, you now have to, you know, have to take, you have to have a pause of your plan. But unless you deal with the, stuff that's been going on in the last couple of months or in the last, you know, I'm thinking even more, I, I think it's been maybe for 2018. If, until you deal with that, you're not going to be able to go forward with that. However, having said that, I do believe that you are expecting the worst, which sometimes that's good to prepare yourself for. But I don't think that um, I don't think it's going to be as bad as you think it's going to be. Okay, I don't. I should say I don't feel it's going to be as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, is it going to be rough? Yeah, it's going to be rough. It's going to be a rough October, I believe, for my for my water signs. Um, it doesn't mean to you know you know to just give it all up. No you're going to have to pull on your strength. You're going to have to basically do exactly what this one is. In fact, I would say if you, if you here, let's go up here if we can get this. If you can t um, write it down, you know, that you need your strength. Um, you need great inner strength. You need to release though your judgments because you're, you're in your own way, kind of your um, own worst enemy on this. Um, some of this is that you just are not, um, you're just not, 
you know, you, you've taken your own stance and your stance is, is on the harsh side. You need to work on this forgiveness and, com and com um, compassion, okay? I feel that for all of the water signs going on. Um, again, your plans, they're gonna need revision. You basically thought you were going, you basically thought you were going down, you know, going down a certain pathway. You thought, okay, I know where I'm going with my life. And now things have changed. And look, we've got our two sevens. So we have our seven of air, our seven of earth. So, you know, this is actually, actually, I feel, I feel that this is, while this is, this is going to be rough on you, I really feel that this is actually going to put you in a better place. I feel that there's a, you know, a divine plan with this. Uh, you know, not not this plan. I but but I believe that you're being watched over with these things. Um, you know, where it says more going on than meets the eye. Um, just hold strong. Have compassion. Have forgiveness. Um, try to pull on your gent on the gentle side of your spirit which I know, um, okay, I, you know, excuse me, my little scorpions. Um, that's a little bit harder for you um, than maybe the Pisces and Cancerians. But all three of you water signs, people tend to think you're emotional, and you can be on that emotional side, but you do have an, um, a will of iron, okay? So please, please, Release, 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 release. Stop expecting the worst. Um, you know, there, there is going to be anxiety. However, it will come, it will be positive. It, it will actually be very positive for you. See, the positive resolution of a conflict. I, so all of this, it, it, this is kind of like to me, like, you know, okay, I know I, I, might, I might have screwed up on something. Okay, I don't want to go and tell my parents. I don't want to go and tell my, um, my boss. I don't want to go and tell my spouse. I don't want to tell anybody about it. Oh, I, you know, I, I hit a car and, and, and this is an example, you're not going to hit a car. Um, you know, and I, and I ran and oh my gosh, and instead of facing it, instead of going back and saying, oh, this is what I did, or exact, this is what you need to do. You're letting all the you're letting all that fear that that's that's you know that is accumulating and growing because you're not facing. So this is what I'm getting. I'm getting kind of you know you need to face. You need to face whatever it is. You need to find forgiveness. You need to have the strength to face it because it will come out okay. It will come out okay for you, and you will have a happy, you will have a positive, I should say, resolution of a conflict. Anything else for our water signs? Anything else? Anything else for water? Once this is all done, be prepared to move on. Be prepared to grow, um, aid of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. Be prepared for this because once you get through this, this muckiness of this all, cause you, you know, you have your air, you have some, you have your air, water, and you have your earth. Once you get through the muck, you know, think of it as just kind of muck, um, things are gonna get better for you and you're gonna go through a, um, a big period of growth. Many times over, I hate growth because in order to go through growth, there's pain involved. Um, just remember, positive resolution of a conflict. I think October is gonna be kind of a hard month, but you will find the strength and you will have a positive outcome. So um, in this case, if this resonates, okay, remember these things. For the most part, I'm gonna say, I hope it doesn't resonate, resonate um, but 
you know, just just be aware of October because once you know if you're aware of it, um, you can actually handle it better. Okay, thank you, and um, it gets better. I promise you that. Okay, bye bye.